Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to answer two of the most frequently asked questions by Python beginners. First of all, do you have any book recommendations for Python beginners? And the second question is, what type of Python projects should I work on after learning the basics? So first of all, Python books for beginners. Actually, personally, I haven't read a lot of books for Python, so I decided to ask my Twitter and LinkedIn followers about this, and they recommended three books. Uh, automate the Boring Stuff with Python, Python Crash Course, and Learn Python the Hard Way. So the only one I've personally read out of these is Learn Python the Hard Way. I remember it's pretty good, but it seems like with my followers, actually Automate the Boring Stuff with Python is more popular. I'm actually not too sure about the other book, Python Crash Course, but it seems like it's pretty popular too, and it has good ratings on Amazon at least. Anyway, if I were you, I would try, you know, automate the boring stuff with Python first. And then if you don't like it, I would try the other two books. Okay, the second question was, what type of project should I work on after learning the Python basics? Well, there are a few options here. The first one is to work on a web app, like a website, with uh, either Django or Flask. Uh, you'll need to actually learn uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript uh, to be able to do that. And I actually don't have a lot of experience with you know, either Flask or Django, but I've heard that for a beginner, it's much easier to use uh, Flask than Django because it has you know, fewer components built in, and it's easier to see how everything fits together with Flask than with Django. So if I were you, I would start with Flask, and when you're ready to you know, start building something more serious, then I would start learning Django after that. And to learn all of those things, I recommend video websites like Pluralsight, Udemy, and YouTube. And I've heard that for JavaScript in particular, uh, this website called FreeCodeCamp is pretty good and it's free too. Okay, the second option for a project is if you're interested in stuff like data science, machine learning, and data analysis, uh, you can start working on problems on this website called Kaggle. So I've talked about you know, how to learn these things in my video about what you can do with Python. But basically the idea is um, if you want to learn machine learning, you should start with a machine learning course uh, by either Stanford or Caltech. And after that, you can start working on problems on this website called Kaggle. For data analysis and data visualization, I have an introduction video uh, right here on YouTube. And I also have a full course uh, on the same topic on this website called Pluralsight. Now, either of these options is pretty good, you know, making a web app or uh, working on a machine learning project. But the only thing is to do either of these projects, you'll need to learn something extra, uh, either JavaScript or machine learning. So you might say that's kind of too much. Well, if that's the case, there's another option. You can either build a game with Pygame or a simple desktop application with Qt or TK Inter. Now, like I said in one of my previous videos, Python is actually not the best language for either building games or desktop applications. But I think it's good enough to build one of these if you just want to practice using you know, Python. So I've talked about a bunch of different things in my Python tutorial series, like variables, loops, functions, and objects and classes. And if you just want a way to practice using these, uh, you know, building games or desktop applications is just good enough. And then later on, you can just move on to something more practical, like a web application or a machine learning project. All right, that's it for this video. And on my previous video, some people asked me about my vacation, and I'm not on my vacation yet. I'm going to be soon. My flight is at the end of August. So I'm planning to, you know, hopefully make a few more videos before then so that you, know, you guys have something to learn from while I'm away. Anyway, thank you as always for watching my videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.